Hey guys, it's Adam Birdie here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to change the colour of a piece of clothing or a dress in Adobe Photoshop. So it's worth noting in this image that this dress is a solid colour, and that will mean it will just change colours really easily. Um, so for my test shoots with models, I normally use the same dresses over and over again. And this is why I like to pick dresses with a solid colour, as it's really easy to change it, and it just makes my portfolio look a bit more varied. So the first thing you'll need to do is make a hue and saturation adjustment layer. So if you go up here to layer, new adjustment layer and hue saturation, and we're just going to click OK. And what we need to do is select this tool here. And if we click on a piece of the dress, and if we just move the cursor to the right or left of the screen, you can see it's changing the saturation of it and it's selected it really well. Um, so I'm going to keep the saturation about, I'll just keep it the same for now, as um, so I'll put it back at zero. But if we change the hue now, you'll see it will completely change the colour of the dress, which is exactly what we want. Um, so you can change it to whatever colour you'd like. Um, I'm going to go red for this one to make it a bit different. And then we can play around with the saturation now, we've got the colour we like. And then you can also change the lightness as well. Put it about there. And then if I just click this button here, you can see the before and after. The only other thing that I would note that it is kind of changing the colours in the sky a bit here. Um, so the way we can change that is as we've got a layer mask on this adjustment layer already, if we go to our brush tool and make sure that our opacity is at 100% and we're painting with black and we'll just make the brush a bit bigger. So I'm pressing the bracket key on my keyboard and just paint with black of the areas you don't want it to affect. Um, so I don't want it to affect any of the sky here. There we go. So there we go. There's the before and the after. And I really hope this video is helpful to you guys in some way. Um, just let me know what other tutorials you'd like to see. And thank you so much for watching.